a winning the early game in this. I see four quitters though. I think the best pick they could possibly do here. Loi wouldn't be so bad here, to be honest with you. Loi is actually really good against um, Raf and and Farsa, so you can cancel the feather airstrike if you can you can hit your combo. But um, he's hovering Faramis. I would be really surprised if he locks in Faramis. Um, again, Agni Mod is a former pro player from the Philippines, so I'm expecting a lot from him, even though he's moved to Canada. All right, so um, there goes the draft. I mean, hmm, uh, the draft seems pretty even to me. But both, I both teams really do have really good picks. But who yeah, do you I think BTK has the edge. Yeah? Yeah, I do agree. Yeah. BTK do have the edge. They just have that synergy together just because you have really good picks. It's how you play together as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, this is I think this is the only lineup from the previous tournaments that stick together. Like, for example, Gosu, they changed the roster. Rockstar, they changed the roster. But, you know, BTK, they're sticking with the original members that, you know, that won them a tournament. So that's really nice to see, um, like Pika said. Um, and here we go, BTK versus Quitters. By the way, guys, this is a best out of one, all right? So there is no such thing as a strong team on a BO1. Right? You always want to take this team seriously. You don't want to underestimate any of these teams because anything could happen in the best of one. All right, so here we go. It looks like BTK, they're starting a, a fast clear here at mid lane, while obviously Ling and Baksha will be doing a fast blue because Ling really needs the blue. If Ling doesn't get the blue, I mean, he's kind of useless. Not not completely useless, but it's just really hard, um, you know, to play Ling without the blue buff. Really blue reliant hero. But here we see the Paquito, how OP he is already. Look at that damage on Esmeralda. Jeez, what a... What a broken hero! <laughs> but here, Ling finally getting the red buff, and Baksha doing a, um, you know, helping the Ling out by starting that green camp right away as well. So, so far, both teams are playing really well. We can see the teamwork going on from both teams. Um, Granger is farming pretty freely. No distractions right now. Who's gonna get level 4 first? Um, I think BTK might get level 4 first since they did get the Litho. Um, but here, Ling is almost level 4, not quite yet, maybe one more minion. And actually, Ling Ling is ahead of Granger in terms of experience. I'm not really sure why. Um, let's see, is he going to get level 4? He does get level 4. They, they get level 4 around the same time. Uh, Ling is trying to gank this Paquito alone. I'm not really sure if this is a good idea. It's it's really hard to, to gank Paquito early game, guys. Let me tell you. Alright? The Paquito sustain and the way he resets his skill... It's just, you know, it, it's too much. It's really hard to gank early game. Um, it would be actually easier to gank the Alice because Alice is super weak early game, especially pre-level 4. But um, in the Quitters, their strat right now, they're just kind of sticking together, trying to follow where Ling is going. And I think Ling is kind of um, taking command or, um, you know, controlling the, the his team right now. Wherever he's going to go, that's where Baksha and the, the Loi is going to go. But BTK finally starting the turtle as soon as possible. Let's see if they are going to be able to secure this turtle. No zoning from BTK at all. But Granger still managed to secure that turtle. The ulti is going to go down. Ling is forced to ulti. The farce is going to ulti as well. But no kills going on. But it's just going to be a BTK um, trade advantage right there. Turtle for nothing. All right, turtle for nothing. Ling also doesn't have the blue buff yet. So that's going to be something that you need to watch out for. That's the hard part about Ling, especially in the early stages of the game. If you're trying to contest for a turtle, most of the time at two minutes, Ling doesn't have the blue buff. You're going to have the blue buff um, disappear for a good 15 seconds. And then as soon as the turtle spawns, your blue buff is just about to spawn. So it's, it's just really hard to play Ling in the early stages of the game. So it's, if I'm quitters right now, just be patient, play it safe, let Ling farm. And get to late game with Esme and Ling. Let them carry, right? That's that's how they're gonna win for quitters. For BTK, they just need to play as a team, get as much ob objectives as possible. Farsa actually almost killed that Loi right there. One HP, but managed to get away. It's still a 0-0 scoreline. No deaths being given from both teams. And um, almost being um, stolen by Rafaela right there. First kill. And right here, we see Granger cutting the lane with the Alice here on the bot side of the map against this Cho, all right? We haven't seen this Cho roam just yet, um, but surprisingly, Alice is rotating faster than Cho, which is not something that you usually see.
because Cho's supposed to be stronger than Alice early game. But I think um, it's just that BTK gank bot lane. That's why Cho Cho's uh, wave is not in his favor. Uh, let's see what else is B what, what else does BTK need to do here? Rafaela is just sticking next to Granger, so it's they're pretty much investing a lot of resources into Zane. They're trusting Zane, all right. Trusting your teammates is one of the most important things that you could possibly do if you're building a team. Um, but this team has been together for such a long time, and they still have their trust on Zane. Um, let's see what Zane's plan is here. Um, he the the turtle spawned finally. He's ready for it. Um, but then again, there's nobody to zone for BTK except for the Farce of Feathers airstrike. That's it. That's the only way they can zone. But Baksha doing a really good job right here. Um, Rafaela is going to get forced to ulti. And who gets it? Ling actually gets it because it was a nice zone from Baxia. I would say that's worth it if this guy doesn't die. And he gets a double kill for Granger. Loi also dies as well. And actually, it is not worth it, all right? <laughs> it was worth it if the um, if the Baxia was the only one to die. But then Loi died as well. And then they also get the red buff. So it's like an even trade, I would say. As of now. And plus, the blue buff is going to be taken by BTK. Oh, man. Ling is going to have a really hard time right now. Trying to go around the map. He's going to be, you know, catching, catching for breath. You know, Ling without blue buff. You, you're going to be catching for your breath but look at the Cho here trying to go for a TikTok but I don't think he's gonna be able to burst oh he doesn't have enough damage right there and Alice is gonna get that kill on Chu and this might be the snowball that we're looking for on BTK's side but they want to play it patiently and discipline we see the discipline here on BTK's side even though they it looks like they're winning the situation or scenario they don't want to force any place they're really playing it safe and they're not underestimating the, the opposite team even though they're winning a lot right now uh, in terms of objectives, all right, three kills to none, and plus two turtles. Uh, actually, one turtle to uh, um, quitters actually got one turtle in. Farsa gets a kill on um, on Esmeralda right there. Double kill on the Farsa alone. I, I, how? All right, I, I just don't know. Hui making some miracles here, but Paquito also died, so it's a two for one trade. Still in favor of BTK. I'm um, definitely worth it. Uh, it's okay for the side lane to die as long as there's a trade. All right, and here we go. We see BTK using the objective, doing the objectives as a team. Yeah, definitely objective-minded BTK here. Got the bot lane tower. After bot lane tower, they go for mid lane. And now, guess what's next? It's going to be either counter jungle on the top side, get the red buff, and get the top lane tower. And it looks like they're going to counter jungle. Who's going to get this? I, I think Granger should be able to get this. And this, look at, look at Baksha. So squishy on that Granger. Granger could just melt Baksha so easily. And um, the turtle is up again. But I think Zane wants to get the blue buff first. Um, Farsa is giving vision on that turtle so that nobody starts it. Um, Farsa doesn't have a lot of mana. So I think it's better for Farsa to actually recall and then go back into the team fight. And Granger, though, look at that. Just one first kill puts a turtle into the 50% health. Oh, man. And Ling is just getting the blue buff. So he he's not going to be able to contest this, this turtle. You know, that's the problem with Ling right now. That's the problem with Ling. So you really need to get to late game. And you really um, need to give away a lot of the turtles early game if you have a Ling on your draft. All right, it's it's just a given. And I'm really surprised that um, Quitters did not draft Angela here for um, uh, on their side because Angela Ling is one of the combos that a lot of teams have been doing here in C and that I haven't seen yet in NA. I, I don't think Angela is really big here in NA. But let's see what happens here. Hopefully Ling does have the items to um, deal a decent amount of damage now. Maybe a DHS, maybe an endless battle. Can can we get an item check real quick? Let's see what what he has. Um, okay, so I think he's gonna build Demon Hunter's Sword first, from what it looks like. He does have the jungle item, um, all the way to third tier. Um, Chu does have the Hepticees. We have Loi with Enchanted Talisman. Baksha is really squishy, by the way. You know why? Because he has the third tier jungle item without any armor or magic resist except for the boots. So that's why um he's so squishy. All right. So yeah, we're good. Thank you for the item check. Um, yeah, that's the reason why Baksha is so squishy. I was wondering, why is Baksha so squishy? He's forcing the, um, the Encourage Mass. Why? I I'm not really sure why. Why a lot of tanks like uh, forcing Encourage Mass. And considering Baxia as well, Baxia has the Rolling Ball. So you don't really need, you know, a speed up or, or uh, speed up at all. Plus you have your ulti. You, you have super sustain. So I think it's better to build like Tanky instead of Encourage Mass. But it, it is his... He's the one playing, so I can't say anything. But let's see if it's going to work out for him. Ling does secure the blue buff, so that's good. Um, but so far, BTK really showing their superiority here in this game. 
quitters they have been quiet no objectives at all so far only one turtle and uh they actually managed to get one tower as well which uh, we missed earlier but here we go alice versus the ling and alice has just so much sustain ling is not going to be able to burst out to alice without dhs and i don't even think ling has dhs yet so um, and Rafaela tried only the Baxia, but very nice trigger stun from Cardi, and this is the Alice that Pico was talking about for Cardi. Look at this. Very well played from Cardi and the emos, the piece of whatever it's called, piece of life. I don't even know if that was the correct emote. But yeah, there we go. They did manage to actually trade a tower here at mid lane. Rafaela was not able to defend his mid lane tower, but it's alright because the Lord is gonna go to the A side. A very dominant game right now, so far from BTK, which is what we expected to be honest. They are one of the more, um, you know, the crowd favorites. People have been watching them. They're they're really popular for a reason because they're good. All right, but hopefully we see we see more of quitters here. Um, who got that? Oh, it was actually Ling who managed to get that red buff. All right, um, so that's good. At least he got that. Um, he doesn't have blue buff though, so that's gonna be. This is gonna be really hard for Quitters to to come back, especially if Link keeps getting denied blue buff. The blue buff is up. Let's see if Link can get this. It's gonna be really important for Link to get this. Um, but I think Granger, they're just gonna give the blue buff away. I think Quitters is trying to um, focus on wave clearing instead of trying to contest for this blue buff, which is probably the the, the wise thing to do. It's the safe thing to do. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. BTK playing super aggressive right now. And we're seeing Zane like literally front without any tanks at all. I mean, yes, Rafaela is in front of him, but look at that damage! Esmeralda tried doing a falling star move, but he just gets bursted right away. It's like he did damage to himself. But look at the ads going in. And Cardi, nobody's gonna be able to kill Cardi here. There's so much to stay, even with a boxer on the team, even with a first le level one lord, they're managed to get to they managed to get a level uh, inhibitor right here. Look at the Chu trying to go for a TikTok, but Paquito went for a flicker. And this might be GG well played just in 11 minutes. BTK disrespecting quitters. Recalling in front of... Is that piece of life? Is that it? Is, is that the emo that they're talking about? The one with the golden statue? Oh, man. And that's the piece of life. Oh, man. Congratulations to BTK for winning this series. And thank you for quitters for playing as well. Oh, man. Just as I expected, very dominant game from BTK. Yes, very dominant game from BTK. They did play really well together. Um, they played aggressive. They invaded his Ling's red, they invaded Ling's blue. Ling couldn't do much the early game or mid game. 